Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to Headlander. Let's continue. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, we now have health regeneration, which means our body will refill uh, and damage. So, kind of instantly by getting that upgrade we've stopped the need for a full we hit fill in health but I imagine what's gonna happen is we'll quickly find many scenarios where uh, I, I imagine we'll find many scenarios where the the we have multiple multiple tanks of health and the multiple tanks of health are going to just be easier. Ooh. And I guess I can destroy those things. You don't get any experience, however, destroying enemies, so... It stops being... It's kind of pointless to do. So I guess I have to go this way and get an orange person. Hmm. Darn it. And these spots are clearly designed around areas where the enemies that you have to have to solve puzzles are. So that was just a repair station. The, there was no guarantee that I was going to unlock regeneration at this point. I could have spent it on other things. Okay. However, it's moving fast enough that I, I now know that it's not... Why is, why is it drawn as a big triangle, but in actuality it's a square? Uh, roof. Hmm. Oops. Well, we can just take a side quest over here and get an upgrade. There we go. So we've secured the situation. We can now mess with this cumbersome and poorly laid out puzzle. In it, this game does feel kind of half finished in some places, but I think they're doing a decent job of figuring out figuring out ways to. Uh, still make it playable. I guess that's kind of what the Adult Swim game series has been a lot of is games that uh, don't inherently play well enough to be their own games but uh, a full like 30 hours of gameplay but they're good enough to play for a few seconds. I'll just go this way and see what this lands me.
collect some more energy. And see, it's very tempting right now to go ahead and take another body armor. And then next two points take another body armor. I think that's going to definitely be worth it. I suppose in doing side quests I could Oops. Lockdown clear. Hmm. Did I come this direction and get everything? Did it checkpoint that? Yeah. Hmm. I should have known that because the energy ball behind was not. I'm using my reflective shield on him, which is not the not, not the way to do this. Certainly, but now my regeneration—it's a little too slow now, isn't it? Hmm. See, that got me through that area. Where am I? I'm over here. And now... We can go to the left and transport. The only thing is, how would we get a dog? to teleport. Like, even if we did get a dog to teleport via the teleporter, how then we do we get the dog to this room? This is this is crazy, but let's see if this if this works. Let's grab here. And see, in the middle of battle, this doesn't make sense. This guy over here is still shooting, I think. Still fighting these guys. Lockdown cycle disengaged. Hmm. So if I was to do this and go back here, and then if I was to come over here and grab. Have Frank's head. Hmm. No, that's not gonna work. So I'd have to run all the way back this direction. The pleasure port is always open. So you have to run through all of this a second time. This this doesn't strike me as the right thing to the right way to do this. Alright, so I've got this dog unit. 
Yeah, we run all the way this way. I'm on the way to the boot. Uh. I, I need to. And say I blew the dog up. Hmm. It seems like a lot of work to get this one collectible done. One would kind of hope that the dog's bodies were immortal or something. This door is not secure, unfortunately. It's also kind of weird that this dog was a robot I'm dog. So Where the other dogs are less robotic looking than the other dogs. Alright, let's thing. leave the conversation. Alright. So my thought is you go through here, you use this to the satellite chalet. We come down this direction and we've got to get over to the left. What? Too much red tape for you? Hmm. Still there, seeing red, yeah. Alright. Like, so I have to shoot it, launch, and get through. In time. To get the dog over to this point. Go up here. Access granted. And all the way over here. And the anti door league. What kind of upgrade was that? Helmet elf. So, where are we on the map now? More than likely, it's worth it to get rid of the dog as soon as possible. <laughs> or leave the dog somewhere safe. Opening. In case we needed him again. Hmm. Well, there I just potentially trapped myself. Oh, there was a dog here. I didn't need to do all that work. Relax. Hmm. So... What's the best way to get a red person? Hmm... Why is my battery running low? I am Rod. Red clearance hmm. required for entry. Well, I guess since my phone, no, not my phone, but my computer is saying the battery's running low, I have to check that. So, one second. Okay, I'm back. So, 
it, my battery's fine. I don't know why it popped up that thing. There's two possibilities. Either my new battery backup that I got about a month, month ago is going through its first self test, in which it drains the battery all the way to zero and then recharges it to make sure it's still good, or the program's just crazy. Either way, it doesn't matter. You're not here to, to deal with IT issues. You're here to watch me play Headlander. Alright, now there's a couple of locations that we need to go to. Let's see which one we can get to. Any unauthorized entry into secure zones will result in immediate execution. Have a nice day. Did I just land on the orange guy that was sitting there? See, I get the feeling that that some areas just save what's going on, and some areas don't. And it makes for a weird experience. All are welcome, even you. And this meeting lockdown protocol. Operation detected. Unlawful discharge. Submit at once. Done it. So, what's the point of even being in this room? I can't do anything until I'm a yellow anyways, so the reason it let you into that place is, is just to potentially teach you a lesson that orange won't always be your solution. Man. Just run through this. There we go. Hmm. So I guess we're, we're gonna have to entice them into summoning the yellow clearance let's go up here get yet another upgrade of some sort let's see do we have enough to go for do we save for armor or do we go for faster regen I'll go with faster regen. In the long run, any game that has regen will do more than armor, but you, if you die before you can find a position to hide and turtle up, uh, then... Regions kind of useless. I, I don't understand why there's even a thing here. It's simply for a factor of having somebody at a higher place to shoot at you. Hmm. And I've got everything. Again, I have to sneak through here and land and disable the shield and fly through the hole, which is easier than I'm making it look. And I believe this is the last satellite. Hmm. 
really I think for something like this the screen should completely change and you should just be looking at the satellite this is like every bad lock picking ma mini game together Find a way to the power dome now. Kind of a Thunderdome reference. Hmm. Interesting, it looks like there. Let's see if we can. Let's see, that guy didn't even have any new data for me um where's our destination it's way way down here so we're leaving this area I imagine we just gotta find a way to that area There he is. Lasers increase damage and number bounces based on their their color. So by the time we are at the final color, lasers are just gonna bounce all over the place. There we go. Almost died. And I imagine this is gonna be a simple heal station. And I guess you get the added benefit of heal stations also being locations you're guaranteed to pick up a certain color body. Although, it doesn't feel like the game is making that as obvious as it should be. Uh, particularly on the map. Because you may go to Hill Station and expect something, a, a different body than what you would normally get. Or, maybe the game will throw us a bone and every Hill Station will have the highest level of body that we've unlocked. We now can upgrade and I think armor is totally worth it and region is probably totally worth it but I suspect pretty quickly we're gonna unlock either boost or overcharge. Citizens are reminded to not speak to strangers. Hmm. Oh, don't die. Another upgrade. These are coming way too quickly. 
honestly. And the real work here would be to just have more rooms. This is kind of like the classic Metroid games where each room has some enemies in it. But there's not enough of them. I want to see you again. Your new head is far out. Hmm. Don't tell me. You don't want to walk. Taurus? Keep on trucking. And it seems like talking to citizens has changed nothing. Keep on trucking. Let's take this and... Get all of the snowmen to dance. And now, citizens, look for your friendly neighborhood laser turret, RD. Hey guys, hmm. hi. Try not to break any rules. Okay, because if you do, I'm gonna have to shoot with a laser. I want to dance, but I don't want to, really. Thank you for those comforting words, RT. So we've got another little dog door, which honestly on the map it, it would be very helpful if the map told us where a dog was instead of making us memorize where they are. Which seems to be the expensive. See this one just says help me, but that is just a default conversation and there's nothing more over here hmm I get a feeling that some of my upgrades that I've found actually have upgraded things I haven't even been able to use yet So we just take the dog immediately from her. They don't seem to react at all. That was a lot easier. Seems like each of the holes may have a name to it. A number, a letter de designation. Like this helmet thrust. I'm not sure it's doing anything right now or if it is doing anything it's may very well just be slightly speeding up my movement speed when I am like this which I don't even do too often be nice to get a map the way to the power dome is behind and that here it is door. I ain't detected any green shepherds round bounds. Give me a minute to figure something out. Hmm. And here's a headshot. That's really the wrong... Wrong... Line of dialogue to have random NPCs saying. Hello, fellow citizen. Hmm. See, it would... It would be insane to try to control every single citizen in this game they seem to randomly add so where's our destination our destination is this blue one and it's like a person's quest this area is not too bad it has a few things that aren't mapped so I would assume that the Unmapped areas are secret qu secret collectibles. There's some pickups. It seems we are in a bit of a reset as far as security doors too. The main security doors here are red. Then it gets back to orange, and then there's one yellow. Hmm. Unlike a Metroid game, you're not getting a constant weapon that unlocks doors and I think that's probably a, a bad move if I was to guess like uh, I think it's gonna make grinding and trying to find everything 
uh, more frustrating than it should be because if I have to go find a dog and then have a dog run across the entire map, uh, like I've already done once, uh, it adds extra work. We are now 20% done with this game according to this. So y you can tell it's short. It is definitely short. Uh, we found 74 of the 300 uh, recordings, uh, rooms, and that means, what is that? You double that twice, one-fourth? One-fourth of the rooms have already been found. Six of the 28 objectives have been completed. I imagine objectives, some of the objectives are going to be really short or they're going to be side objectives that are easy. Ten of the 38 upgrades have been collected. Three of, of health have been collected. Three of 15. Four of 15 powers have been collected. Head helmet power upgrades. Three thruster upgrades have been collected. And six of the 18 energy sacks have been drained. So unless the energy sacks start handing out a considerable larger amount of experience this is not going to be one of those games where you can have everything and I don't see a button here that says respec so maybe new game plus uh, as far as my decision I, I guess I'm going to go with body regeneration and uh, see maybe just save up the rest of our upgrades for a while well that's it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below thank you for watching have a good evening